Hey allihopa, hi everyone, and welcome back to Say It In Swedish, I'm your host Joakim and today we are going to learn 10 words that I think uh, are a few of the most beautiful sounding ones in Swedish. <coughs> the first word for today is Norrsken, and not only is Norrsken beautiful in itself, but to my ears the word is very beautiful sounding and um, what does Norrsken really mean? Norrsken means Northern Lights. So I guess it's a very Scandinavian thing, although it's obviously not exclusive to Scandinavia. The next word is one of my favorite words, Smultron. And you will find Smultron in the forest and uh, we actually, my family, we actually had smultron in the garden. And what does that mean? It means wild strawberries. And I think it, it's the same in German that they are called strawberries. Uh, and I guess they are related to strawberries. But when I uh, think of strawberries, I think of something big, but smult no, not that big, but you get the point. <laughs> smultron are this big. And they are called wild strawberries in English. And next up is one of the most beautiful words in Swedish, according to yours truly. <laughs> and um, it's a dated word for purple in Swedish. Most people would, uh, day to day, they would use lila. And I don't think that I've really used this word at all, uh, except for... <laughs> Except for when I have to, there is uh, a children's book that have this word in it, and thus you are kind of forced to use it. But I don't use it in, I don't use it day to day. And the word is gredelin, and it's just, mm, it sounds so creamy. I guess it sounds creamy to me because uh, it sounds like gredde, which means cream, but it's not spelled like grädde and I guess it's not related to that word either. Gräddelin, just taste the word gräddelin, it's just, it's so beautiful and it's a shame that it's dying out. So I want, I want to see a, revo a revolution, uh, I want to give this word a renaissance, uh, so let's try to use this word more. <laughs> and our next word is also kind of beautiful in itself. It means love, or it's what you call your partner or your children, love, darling, etc. Et and the word is elskling. I guess I think it's beautiful. It sounds beautiful because of the vowels and l and ing somehow, and uh, it derives from elska, which is a, a verb, which means to love. And elskling, it's it's kind of like my little love. Then we have Måne, which means moon in Swedish. And I think it's beautiful because of O, which is... I, I think O has a very beautiful sound to it. And the M and N, they are kind of soft consonants. So Måne, it flows very nicely and rolls off your tongue very nicely. Måne. It's beautiful, isn't it? Then we have sol, stråle, which means sun ray or sunbeam. And in English, I don't think it's beautiful at all, but it sounds sounds very beautiful in Swedish. Sol, stråle. I think it's just the Swedish is a very beautiful language, and the vowels are very open, and thus I think this word is very nice. Like I said, I like the sound of O, and we have that in stråle. And I, I, I sense a pattern uh, here that words that I think are beautiful, they have a lot of vowels, they have L and they have G, a soft G, like G. Next up is fantasy, and obviously this word exists in a lot of languages. It's a loan word. But it's just in the Swedish pronunciation makes it sound very, very nice. 
fantasi. Then we have goda dagen, which means yesterday as a noun. Yesterday is igår, but that's the adverb. And goda dagen means like the yesterday, the yesterday. So goda dagen. You see the same pattern here. We have uh, a o and we have other vowels and we have a g or more g's and n. So I guess. Uh, I guess I can make some kind of formula for words that I really like the sound of, but go a dog, and I I think it's it sounds very soft, and we also have a bit of a sing-songy melody for that word. <coughs> Then we have a very nice and lovely word, hali, which in fact means lovely. And I didn't pick this word because of the meaning. I just really like the sound of it, the the a and the l, the h. Hali. It just flows very nicely, and it's yeah, it sounds very, sounds very lovely. And next up we have gova, gova, which means gift. Same thing here. It's just it's just so soft sounding, gova. The soft G, the, you have the O, and then you have a, a V. The V is also very soft. We also have the the Swedish uh, pitch accent here, Gova. That makes it very nice to listen to, in my opinion. So, Swedish, that was everything that I had for you today. I really hope that you learned something, and I hope that some of these words are also sounding very beautiful to you, so that you could just. Watch this video over again and just enjoy my voice pronouncing these words. If you want to learn a bit of Swedish, you can do that on sailingswedish.com, where there are free audio lessons for you and vocabulary lists. And if you want to chat with me and other viewers and fans, and if you have any questions about Swedish, you can do that on our Discord server. Uh, I'm there almost. Uh, all the time actually so if you want to get a hold of me you can do that there uh, link is in the description uh, as always and um, feel free to watch another video we will see each other there and uh, take care hey do ha <laughs>